Hey there, I am going to show you how to complete all of the necessary components for the lab in module one, lesson five. Uh, let's take a look at that one down here. Measuring physical properties. Now you're going to notice that there are there's lesson pages and then there's additional document here. That is the Google Google document that I've created for you. It's your choice to use it or not. The actual lab report is also available on the last page of the lesson. So you can choose and when I get there I'll show you. You can choose to either print off that lab and handwrite your lab report taking a picture of it to turn it in. You can open it in Buzz to complete the work and turn it in or you can use the Google Doc and then share that link with me. Uh, so let's get into the lesson. Make sure you are spending time in all of these pages learning about the different physical properties of matter because that is going to be crucial to you in completing the lab. You're going to need to understand um, how we measure and look at different different properties. Now the second page of the lesson talks about the scientific method and how we start with a question, we do research, we build a hypothesis, do the experiment, and then report out our results with a conclusion. Uh, so let's go here to page three. This is what the lab will look like. All right. And here is the simulation of the physical properties lab. Um, you will begin by clicking on the welcome to a tiny world. And you're going to go through all of the screens that you need to complete. Read the information about your task, about this tiny world that you are on, and the inhabitants that live there. Then you're going to go on to the next page where it shows you they want to move away from an area and they want to move into the mountains where the temperatures are cooler, but they're going to need a new home. The builders must test their materials to determine which ones will work best for the new house. You're going to work with the builders to test each material for density, thermal and electrical conductivity, flexibility, and magnetism. These are the physical properties that you are going to be looking at for the materials listed below. So you're going to test the density of wood, the thermal conductivity of wood, the electrical conductivity of wood, the flexibility of wood, and its magnetism properties. You're going to do those same tests for a clay brick, a piece of iron, aluminum, copper, and nickel. Now don't worry, you don't have to go out and get any of these materials. It is all provided with for you in the simulation. All right, then you're going to make your hypothesis and your hypothesis is to basically select an item to complete the sentence for each four items. Um, if I use one of these items to build the roof of the house, then the temperature inside will remain cooler. Make sure you report these on your lab report. They will not save when you click them here. You're going to need to make your selections and then copy that information onto your lab report. Take notes. All right, that won't let me go any further, so I'm going to go back. Oh, how do I get home? There was a way to do this. It should let me, oh, I've done all this already. I thought I opened all of these. Okay, next. Oh, it's forcing me to select. So I'm just gonna randomly select wood for all of them. There, then it opens up the next box. Sorry about that. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, uh, it, then we're gonna move on to the experimentation phase where you're actually going to test these different materials. I'm gonna make my screen a little smaller. I know it's hard to see, but you will click on each of these items to test that. So first we will begin the flexibility test. Flexibility is the ability of something to bend 
without breaking. How much will it bend before it breaks? If it has low flexibility, it's going to be sturdier for the roof. Um, you're going to place a sample of your material between the two vices in the machine, turn the machine on, and record the results. Then you're going to repeat that for all of the items. So once you've read those directions, click on Next. Here is the vise. So I take my wood piece, drag it in, and then press the switch, and it gives me a flexibility number. Now notice this is blinking up here at the top. This is a record box that I can record. The flexibility of wood is 3 out of 10. So when I open this, it gives me a box. It shows me flexibility for wood, and I enter the number 3 and close. Then I'm going to repeat with the clay brick. Press the lever. The clay brick has a flexibility of 2. It is less flexible. An iron block has a flexibility of 4. And you're going to continue through the rest of those properties. Then, actually, I'm going to go through these here very quickly for you. Seven. Six. And five. Then it allows me to move on to the next test of magnetism. You're going to work through all of those tests, and I'm going to pause my video right here to do all of those, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have gone through all of the different tests for physical properties. I've completed my um, graph here, recorded all of that data, and I'm going to click Next, and it's time to build. So here's the procedure you're going to use. You're going to, using the data from the tests, and you have access to that by clicking up here, uh, you're going to analyze that information and pick a different building material for the roof, the walls, the floors, the electrical wire, the windows, and the door latches. All right, once the house is built, make sure you record your results in the lab report. Remember, this information does not transfer over. You're going to have to copy it over. Um, make sure that you note whether your results are su were supported or failed um, compared to your hypothesis that you made. All right, so we go to the next one. You can pick a design for whichever home you want, and then you're going to drag and drop the materials into your building. Uh, make sure that when you get to the lab report, let's go back and take a look at that. I'm actually going to go into the Google Doc one. It will force you to make a copy. Okay, once you are here, make sure that you include your name, my name as the instructor, instructor, the date you complete this, and the name of the lab. The lab is called Measuring Physical Properties. Um, in your own words, why is why are we doing this lab? What is the purpose of it? What are you trying to learn about? This section, you're going to use the copied hypothesis statements from the lab, and then um, you're going to list the materials and procedures that you did for this lab. All right, the information you collected from your box is going to be, your data box is going to be copied in here, and then you're going to answer the conclusion questions. Make sure that you include a summary of your results and you are interpreting them. So using two to three sentences, why, what did you investigate and observe in the lab? Then what building material did you use to build your house? Did, the, did you pick that material in your original hypothesis or did something else show to be a better choice? Uh, what were the densities of the materials that you chose for the wall and the home? Why do you think density is important when building homes or architectural structures? Why wouldn't you choose wood or aluminum for the latches of the house? Which material had the highest thermal conductivity? 
Which one had the highest electrical conductivity? Explain why those conductivities are so high with the material. Make sure you're answering all of the questions, not just the first one. And then think about the home you live in now or a home that you've lived in in the past. Um, use complete sentences to describe the environment and the weather. And what building materials do you think work well to build a home in the area that you're choosing to talk about? And explain why you would choose those materials. I'm hoping this helped you get through the lab. Make sure that you've completed all parts of it before you turn it into me. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can watch another video I've made to set up an appointment to meet with me. It's in the helpful tips section of my YouTube page um, or send me an email. Bye guys.